Hi there, my name is Aliyu and I want to show you my project which I've been working on for about a month now. A short background uh, about the project. So so like uh, as a computer scientist and researcher, uh, I kind of follow a lot of uh, a lot of AI news and then and then and then about a few months ago I was uh, I was watching some YouTube some YouTube videos uh, where I saw some people that were testing different different AI models and I uh, and I kind of noticed that uh, from their testing uh, at least I noticed that these AI models they find it very difficult to do some kind of uh, logical reasoning uh, or what I call analytical reasoning so so like since then I started thinking uh, of course this might be possible and before that I, uh, I was kind of working on my own um, on my own AI model which is kind of not using machine learning or deep learning uh, I felt like uh, this was achieve uh, this was achievable without without using uh, deep learning and machine learning because because I believe that uh, deep learning and machine learning although like uh, they are very amazing they do they do some cool cool stuff and cool work but uh i do i do not believe uh it can achieve uh it can achieve uh agi or can even lead to some kind of understanding or reasoning so uh uh i believe so but uh, uh it can uh, i don't know if it is possible it might be possible it might be, it might not be not uh but i believe uh, people should also try other avenues or other methods to achieve the same so 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 uh, for about uh, six months or so i've been working uh, uh on a different kind of approach uh, and i was doing the research studying the papers uh both in deep learning and machine learning and and the traditional go file is called good old uh, uh, uh good old uh, uh, AI which is called uh, GoFi in abbreviation and then uh, and then like uh, so so like when I found out about about this problem from the papers and from the and from the videos that demonstrate uh, all these models I kind of felt like uh, I could uh, I could try uh, to think in this uh, in this direction and to kind of provide some sort of uh, algorithms that could solve it. So like uh, after much much research, uh, much thought and much uh, and much development and much sleepless nights, uh, uh, I've been lucky to come up uh, with some algorithms and some kind of architecture that can uh, give uh, this AI models some semblance, uh, some semblance of of uh, of reasoning or what I call analytical thinking or reasoning and uh, hopefully uh, uh, I'll be able to to demo it in this video and to also change your mind uh, uh, about this approach uh, although like uh, I will not really present uh, the code or present uh, the algorithms fully in this video uh, I just want to show it working and hopefully soon i'm going to uh present the algorithms uh and the as well as as well as well as the architecture that i'm using uh i want you to notice that my own uh so the testing is going to be done in uh by comparing chat gpt oh sorry the demonstration is going to be done by comparing chat gpt and my own simple chat interface uh, uh so so yeah i will first test with chat gpt and then go to my own chat interface and enter the same query uh and see the results and then and then and then i will chip in um, and we've had some discussions as you can see here here i'm actually running my own uh my own ai uh, uh on my local machine and i'm and I'm not using any GPU. Uh, uh, it's only the CPU. I don't have any 
GPU. I wish I could show you, but I don't want to really show my system in this video. Uh, I can post some screenshots later. Uh, so then, uh, I've written down a few queries uh, that I'm going to test, and uh, and I have some kind of uh, uh, and these queries can actually test uh, if these models can can reason about uh, about the question that is being asked about the problem. Uh, so yeah, and we are going to try to use our own human brains uh, to also try to answer it first. Uh, you can pause the video and try to answer it first and see uh, which result. So so here, so we start with the with some of the queries that I've written down. So here we have this, for example, we have Kola is taller than Abdu, Abdu is, is taller than Mary, Suf is, is, is equal to Abdu in height, we is shorter between Abdu and Suf. Of course, like uh, here, we know that both of them are equal, we shouldn't expect any of them to be taller or shorter, but uh, let's check what ChatGPT is going to tell us. It's shorter they're of the same height. Yeah, uh, so ChatGPT gets this right. Uh, so here, let's ask my own uh, model. Uh, it's kind of thinking. So here it also, uh, it gets it right also. Of course, like uh, ChatGPT <laughs> reply is kind of better and more in, in 20 uh, of course that should be expected it should yeah it is a large language model uh so here let's ask let us ask some other questions uh who is uh taller let's check so uh so here uh we are asking who is taller between abdu and suf can be if color, uh, therefore color is taller than both Abdul and Suf. Uh, 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 it kind of gives us an answer, uh, but, but here uh, it gives the answer in the general answer. It says that Suf is equal in height to, to, to Abdul, but its final answer is color is taller than both Abdul and Suf. But we are asking it something else entirely. Who is taller between Abdul and Suf? Let us ask uh, my own model who is uh, taller between Abdu and Suf. <coughs> so it says the same thing, both are equal. As we can see, we should uh, always expect the right answer from this model, right from ChatGPT, sometimes it gets it right, sometimes it doesn't, which is uh, what uh, a lot of researchers have been talking about with these uh, large language models. So let's uh, uh, up the scale. Let's say we want to ask it to uh, list all entities uh, if taller is it taller than color? Let's see. Who, who are taller than color? So this is what we want. <coughs> so is so so therefore then it's taller than color blue and so which is incorrect as we can see. <coughs> color is the is the tallest from this uh, exper uh, from this uh, experiment, but here it says color uh, the entities color uh, were taller than than color are uh, Abdul and Suf, which is uh, incorrect. Now let us ask my own model. <coughs> So here, uh, as you can see, uh, it doesn't give any any reply, although like uh, it kind of starts answering, but it finds uh, no entities that are taller than 
call also like uh, it returns a blank a blank result but uh, but yeah it doesn't find uh, any entity so <coughs> uh, let's say we uh, have uh, equal to Abdul <coughs> What's up doing high self therefore only and so it gets this right. Uh so here what I notice is that if it is explicit uh, explicitly mentioned inside the question it kind of uh it uh it kind of gets the answer right that is chat GPT but well like if you have to do some sort of thinking about it uh it's almost usually always gets it wrong but sometimes it gets it right so <coughs> so here yeah, as we can see uh it gets this right yeah as so here yeah. so here yeah, of course it's one of course uh, i could uh, improve improve uh, the prefix sentences to be more intuitive and all but uh, but here we can see it, it gives the correct answer all the time uh, so so here uh, let's think if there's anything else that we could ask it we can we, okay let's ask it to arrange let's uh, arrange everything from Tallest to shortest. <coughs> so here, uh, it gets it right. Yeah, uh, it says equal equal height to Abdu in in, in bracket. So here, let's ask a query where we ask ChatGPT something else from. So also it gets this right. Yeah. Uh, so here, let's ask. As you can see, uh, our model already gave us the answer. The order of. Uh, of height from, from from tallest to the shortest is color uh, with with the tallest then we have two equal which is Suf and Abdul and then we have Mary so so here uh, Mary uh, so here Mary uh, sorry uh, <laughs> sorry here I kind of I kind of copied this instead of copying this here sorry so here uh it kind of just generally gives us how many objects are in uh are in the query here. so here let's ask it from shortest to tallest and see what it will to give us of course like we can ask uh so here it gets it right also maybe is shortest and then we have two equal the uh, suf and abdul then we have color let's ask chat gpt this uh how many people in the experiment <coughs> there are four individuals which gets this right so let's ask this <coughs> Uh, it also gets it right. So now let us up the scale a little bit, yeah, uh, and go for something more complex. We have uh, a query that is a lot more complex that I had written down. So here is uh, uh, it's kind of different objects, uh, and also we have the ball, ball, pen, fork, uh, chair, 
eraser and all uh, so we want it to arrange the items from smallest to the biggest so here you can pause the video uh, and kind of try to try to arrange it yourself uh, but we see that uh, chat GPT it gets it wrong all the time like uh, all the I've tested it so many times it doesn't get it right at all so here uh, so here, uh, uh, so now let us ask this, the same query from smallest to the biggest. Uh, so here we see that uh, if you pause the video and try to arrange it yourself, you see that uh, uh, our model gets it right all the time. It gets all the equal ones, which is blade, sharpness, scissors, and then the marker, pencil, eraser, biro, pen, quill. So the table is the biggest of according to this to this question and then these these are the smallest. Uh, so here uh chat GPT gets this wrong all the time. So let us ask uh, it uh, is this how many objects? How many objects are uh, <coughs> it lists 19 actually uh, but actually if you if you look well you count 20 uh, so here let's count from it 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 16 17 18 19 20 so there are 20 objects but uh, it gets 19 only so which one it misses out uh, you can pause it and check by yourself. I'm trying to make this video as short as possible. So let's ask our, our, our model the same question and see if it will get it right. So as you can see, it gets it right all the time, 20. Uh, you can we can actually also ask it to like uh, from to rearrange it let's say from instead of smallest to biggest from biggest uh, to smallest now let's copy the same query and ask chat gpt So as you can see, it starts with the biggest, which is table, but it gets the it gets the order wrong all the time here. It gets the order correctly, like to the point, hundred percent to the point. Uh, so let let ask it something interesting. Let's say let us maybe we want to know all the items. List all objects. All objects uh, equal to let's say bio. So bio. <coughs> it's the same query. So here as you can see it gets its pen and quill are equal to bio. As you can see pen and quill we have bio. So, <coughs> so here uh, it only gets pen, it doesn't get the quill, it doesn't, uh, so yeah, um, let's ask it a final interesting question, uh, maybe two more. Uh, uh, if pen equal to zero, sorry, let's say is uh, if this pen already asked this. Let's say, let's ask about is blade blade equal to zeros. So, 
Yes. So as as you can see, it, uh, it returns true. Let's add this to chat GPT. The blade is equal to this, so it is stated. So it also get gets it right. So let's say we want to ask something that is not expli explicitly mentioned. So let's say we want to ask is table bigger is the table is table bigger than let's say we want to ask is table bigger than nylon uh, yeah it should yeah, yeah. since we already asked uh, yeah bigger let us ask that yeah so let's ask this to chat GPT also so as you can see it also returns true so here it also returns true so it gets it right also so let's ask the opposite is table smaller So let's ask it uh, a final one. Let's say we want it to list all objects smaller than, <coughs> let's say, smaller than nylon. So here, let's see so that we can compare. So here we have string, wire, barrel, pen, quill, eraser, pencil, marker, blade. Just to be sure, let's let's arrange objects from smallest to biggest just to be sure yeah? and compare so here all objects that are smaller than nylon we have string wire barrel pen quill uh -huh. eraser pencil marker blade sharpness scissors here so that is correct but here let's see it mentions shoe cup it mentions uh, a lot of items that are actually bigger than nylon yeah according to our query so yeah so that is it for my demonstration of course i would have loved to show you the algorithm and to show you the architecture that i'm using but uh hopefully i can show it soon uh, i hope maybe sometime next month or or next two months but uh surely in the first uh in the first quarter of the new year that we are going to so i wish all of you a great year ahead and uh happy coding happy doing some ai research see you soon bye bye